Hey guys, welcome back to quicklatech.blogspot.com and I am back with a new tutorial on how to do basic mathematics with LaTeX. So what I have here is a document of type article. I'm using these two packages, MS Math and AMS Symbol. Then I start my document here, I end my document here, this is the title and make title and I run it and this is what the output looks like currently. So now um, to understand what is there within math the first thing that you need to know is that there is two ways um, there are two ways that you can embed mathematical symbols and um, equations in your text. One is inline that is you do not want to break your current line and you want to embed some symbols. The second one is that you want the symbols or the equations to appear in a separate line. So the first one is that this is inline math symbol. So I'll put a math symbol here. Let's say n. So let's see if I don't do anything special here, what does it look like? So it'll look like a regular text if you want to make it special so that it is more prominent and highlighted than the regular text then you can put dollars around it so if you put it bet between dollar signs symbols that means that it is math environment so if you want to um, start your math environment you can put a dollar like this that will um, Put it as a math symbol the other way you can do it slash and a parenthesis and then you end it with slash and a parenthesis so the effect is the same so here now this is for inline if you want it within the same line in the text running along the text if you want it to appear in a line of its own you can put double dollars if i run it so this will be pushed to a new line. Similar to the other one where we had the slash and this thing, um, parenthesis, you can put a slash and a bracket for um, pushing it to next line. This is what we call displayed math. So the earlier one was text, the other one is displayed. So this will be prominently displayed in a line of its own. So what we have seen is that for inline dollar and dollar or slash this and slash parenthesis is used and for displayed math we can use dollar dollar n or slash bracket n slash bracket. Make sense? <clears throat> so these two are in line and these two are different in the next line. So that is the first thing. The second thing is that sometimes you have to use the uh, fraction. For instance, um, we start with n elements and we continue to divide them in half leaving and divided by two elements. Now see this n divided by two, all the special math symbol, it's not what we want. If you want fractions, that is a numerator and a denominator, what you can do is that you can use frac. So you put frac, the numerator is the first one and the denominator is here in that case it will nicely put it on top of each other so that is how you put fraction uh, this so frac is used for that now what next okay the next let's look at the power and which is um, also called the superscript in ms word and subscript so power and indices or superscript and subscript although we have done a tutorial on that um, I'll, I'll just briefly cover it here. So the power can be written 
using caret symbol for instance dollar n caret n results in n to the power n written nicely oops did I make a mistake okay can't use this symbol like that I don't think that is a good deal so you can say slash caret so you type you escape it because caret is a special symbol you just cannot throw it in the text like that interesting anyways we'll come back to this but see this instance n is to n results in this so I guess what I need to tell it is that this is plain text Will that work I don't think it liked it okay um, let me not waste time on that Carrot symbol uh, here. Here. So n is to n. Then um I'm I'm coming back to carrot, don't worry. But let me just do what I want to do first. Um the next thing that we want to check is subscript or indices as you would call it. The indices could be written using underscore for instance and underscore I does um, makes I an index of n if you see here this is an index so remember caret sign and underscore for power and indices next that we want to do is that if you want to encapsulate your equation or your fractions inside parentheses or brackets to do that what you can do is um, simply if you had to do that you would say let me copy this from here copy it paste it here and it will give me n divided by 2 now I want parentheses around it so I can put simply two parentheses so it put parentheses now let me change something and show you what happens I post the same thing here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to tell it put back parentheses so left parenthesis and you want to end it with the right parenthesis so this is the right parenthesis and see the difference for yourself here do you see, see a difference between these two so the in the um, latter one the parentheses are bigger and then they are they have enclosed the entire equation between them so that is the difference similarly you could do the same thing um, what I want to do here is put a new line and copy the same thing but instead of a parenthesis now I'm going to use a bracket here so the same effect as earlier now there is a profound use of brackets and if you can recall if you have to write matrices so how do we write matrices so in order to write matrices what you can do is you start your math and your math and I'm putting it in the next line because there is too much so you start the left brackets and then you end the right brackets and between these two what you do is that you begin an array slash begin you want to begin an array 
and whatever you begin you have to end now you need to define how many columns you want and then the um, alignment of each column let's say I want three columns and all of them will be aligned centered and I can put anything here one to separate the columns you put the ampersand three then I want in the next line I want four five and six and if I want third line I could go seven and eight and, and nine so let's run it and see if it works oh it worked right now if you want <coughs> same thing applies if you want your matrix inside the parentheses instead of brackets it's the same thing looks cool right yeah so I hope this was easy and you were able to follow me if you have any question you can widget quicklatex.blogspot.com quicklatex.blogspot.com again and leave me a comment or you'll see this on YouTube too so you can search and um, leave a comment on YouTube and I'll reply to your comment and solve any problems you have one okay say so now